Here at the City of Port Phillip, we collect over 20,000 tonnes of landfill waste from households within the city each year. A lot of that waste is food waste, around 35% of it, and that can easily be reduced by composting and worm farming. What we've shown here at the City of Port Phillip at our head office here at the Town Hall is that waste can easily be quickly sorted out by using worm farms. And it's really quick, it's really easy, it's really efficient. It's no fuss and no smell. We encourage residents to take up both worm farming and composting to reduce the landfill leaving our city. It's a simple way to make a big difference. Today we're going to do the next part of the worm farm assembly. We've got the assembled hungry bin worm farm here that Matt assembled in a couple of minutes the other day. And so what, what we're going to do is the first part of this is, is put some soil in here. Well, the soil we use is either potty mix, we can use horse manure, or we, or we could use um, a mulch mix. The, the one we've, we've just got ordinary potting mix here today. So what we're going to do is this, this bin on its first setup will hold about 80 litres, Matt, and we've got okay. 90 litres here. So what we want to do is bring it up to about probably three or four inches from the top. So can you start putting that potting mix in there? Okay. He's just cutting the bag open with a knife. He's just going to empty his, the potting mix out into the, the bottom of the worm farm. And we'll get you to get your gloves on in a minute. Matt as well. Uh, yeah. I'll take the empty bags. Just get that last little bit out there. We'll just spread that around a bit. So what's the thinking behind filling it all the way to the very top or just off the top? Well what'll happen is all of this will get really moist and it'll start to compress. So what we want to do is, is bring the worms right up to the top so that the surface area is the greatest. So we want to bring them up to the top where the surface area is the greatest. That way we can get as much food in here as the worms can handle. And so we just, just smooth that out. So the next part we want to do, Matt, is mm -hmm. sometimes out of the bag that comes out sort of dry and really granulated. Okay. So what we want to do is just wet it down. Now, I'll do this because the, the bucket's right here at my feet. Yep. So I'm just going to tip a bit of water in here. We make sure we've got the tray underneath. Can you just line the, yep. the tray up, make sure that's okay. So the tray's underneath, it's going to capt capture this water. Just going to wet it down. Normally what we do, Matt, is probably put about two buckets through here. Mm -hmm. Give it a, a good wet down. Create a good environment for the worms to get started really quickly. That's one thing I do know is the worms love the wet. Yeah, they do. But what they don't like is too much wet because the worms can drown if, if this if this gets plugged up at the bottom and it fills up with water okay. the worms can drown as well the next part kind of exciting part is uh, just take the cover off there uh -huh. so i've taken these worms from one of our other worm farms and they'll they'll breed up again so what i want you to do matt is is just gently take all those worms out and just spread them around all over the surface area there You'll see there's, there's plenty of worms in here. Normally what we do, Matt, is we, to get a worm farm started, we put in between two and 4,000 worms. And you'll see here, look, lots of nice, nice big healthy worms. And there's other bits of food from the other worm farm. So there's a lot of good healthy life in here. Lots of different age worms, the bigger ones and the little ones. So that's all ready to go. We'll just spread that out a bit more. I notice when we're spreading this out, there's quite a few sticks in this, um worm food is that something worms can deal with anything hard and woody to never it what it does is clog up the worm farm the worms can't ever get through this stuff matt so when you're doing it when you're doing this kind of activity it's a good opportunity to clear some things out 
that get in the worm farm from yep. the bins that that shouldn't be in there so just if you see things like that just just take them out sure. all the worms will have gone for cover all the ones you can still see will quickly go for cover because they don't like light okay so they just want to go down and um be in be in the in the dark where it's nice and quiet and cool so what we want to do now is just give them a little layer of food you notice that there was already some food in there there's yep. quite a few worms so we've got some food here from the offices above us and you'll notice in here matt that because it's sort of office food, it's, it's, um, it's dominated by banana skins and tea bags. Okay. So the diet that you give the worms will depend on how big they grow. You'll see some worm farms have different size worms and some are more prolific. Um, what you see here is banana skins, tea bags and serviettes. So okay. we just, we're, what we're gonna do is just make a, spread out a little layer. So if you do, you grab, have to, do you have to break the banana skin into smaller pieces or it's okay in that? No, it's okay like that. Okay. You could, you could if you wanted to, but yep. just a bit more. So what we want is about two centimetres, maybe two and a half centimetres of food right across the surface area. And not, not too much at this early stage as it's a beginning worm farm. So sure. the worms take a little bit of time to breed up. And you also notice what we've got there is a mix of the vegetable scraps and also the paper. And that's the, the nitrogen part and the carbon part. So okay. we always want to get a bit of a balance between the carbon and the nitrogen. What is the balance? Is it is there a high ratio? Of... About 50-50, okay. but generally what I do, Matt, is I just base it, base it on smell. Yep. So when you come out here and you can smell it and you can look at it, if it starts to get slimy and dirty and stinky and there's lots of insects, the balance is about wrong. Okay. Yep. And usually what most people do is add too much of this mm -hmm. and not enough of this. Sure. Okay. So usually it's usually it's to add carbon. And the biggest problem with worm farms that I find is that people f overfeed. Okay. They got this big bag of food and they just want to put it all in. Mm -hmm. The best thing to do is to chuck it out, leave it mm -hmm. like this, and only ever refeed if this is half gone. Okay. So we won't refeed this, this worm farm until that food is half gone. And how long might that take for the worms to get through this? Because it's a starting worm farm, I'd probably leave it a couple of weeks. Okay. Let the worms all settle in, so this is their new home. So just let it settle in a couple of weeks, but check it once a week. Yep. Check it once a week, and if it needs some food, give them okay. some. Just leave it, you want it to look like that. Sure. And also, if you get some other variety for them, that's not just banana skins and tea bags, that's, yep. I think that's, that's a good thing to do, and it, um, it helps the worms out a bit. The last thing we need to do is we, what we do is we put a, a barrier over the top and the barrier serves two purposes. It's, um, I've previously wet down this newspaper. So what we do is I just open it up and I put it across the top there and that serves two purposes. One, to keep insects out. Yep. So, you know, all those little buzzy flies that you sometimes see around worm farms or compost bins, that helps to keep them out. But it also, what happens with this paper over time, it breaks down and it becomes the carbon for the farm. Okay. And yep. the worms, worms chew through newspaper and they can, they can actually live on newspaper if you right. have no other food. Mm -hmm. So two of those, just to cover up and provide a nice layer there. And it's always, always wet down, so we don't put dry newspaper in there. You Feels can a bit put, like putting a blanket on, yeah. putting, tucking them up into bed. Yeah, exactly. And you can put dry newspaper in here. Uh, but then you'd, what you'd do is just put a bucket of water over it. Okay. And Matt, if I could ask you to close the lid now. There you have it. Working worm farm. Wow, simple as that. Well done. Very good.